As we all know, we are in the middle of a pandemic. The question I'm sure is in everyone's head as we approach the holiday season is, how are we going to celebrate? Well, the nation's top infectious disease expert says we shouldn't. Dr. Fauci advises against large gatherings this Thanksgiving, especially involving the elderly. He also advises against out-of-state traveling. Thanksgiving is a time for family to gather and share a hot meal and catch up with family you may have not seen in a while. However, traveling long distances and gathering in large numbers increases the likelihood that the virus will spread a lot more rapidly. And with cases being on the rise in more than 40 states, the holiday season could cause that to get even worse. Unless you're sure that the people you're gathering with aren't infected, it's best to keep Thanksgiving and Christmas small this year so we can get ahead of this. The CDC su suggests having a small dinner with only people who live in your household. They categorize this as a lower risk activity. Locally, Governor Gina Raimondo agrees with Dr. Fauci that we should be limiting our holiday plans as corona cases rise in Rhode Island. There were 284 new positive tests out of 10,880 people tested on Wednesday, according to a health department spokesperson. They also said that 130 Rhode Islanders were currently hospitalized with COVID and five more have died. Governor Raimondo is also suggesting that we stay home this Thanksgiving. Although she did make sure to mention that there is no official regulation and that it's just a request. For people that are still going to travel despite her request, State officials are asking that they self-quarantine for 14 days before and after the holiday and to get tested before and after the holiday as well. Now I'm going to close this off with some really cool news. The Recording Academy has added the Rhode Island College concert chorus on the ballot to be considered for a Grammy for their performance of When I Think of You. They are being considered for two categories. Those are best pop duo or group performance, and best music video. This is the first time a Rick music group has ever been considered for a Grammy in the college's history. This is amazing news, especially because in order to be considered for a Grammy, someone in the music industry must submit your work for consideration. The Recording Academy must have been really impressed with what they heard. And due to COVID, excuse me, due to COVID, each performer had to send in a recording that was all mixed together and made into a video. Check out the video. It's truly amazing and you won't be dis disappointed. The pure talent is just astounding and I'm rooting for them to win that Grammy. Good luck to the Rhode Island College Concert Chorus.